Hey guys, so in retro news this week, there's some breaking news about Amelia Earhart and is Close Encounters of the Third Kind being reboot or not? Also, want to replace your Facebook ads with vintage ones from the 80s? Well, we got you covered on that and a lot more in this episode of Retro Crunch. Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Crunch, the nostalgia show that is all about current pop culture, movies, music, and games that relates to all things 70s, 80s, and 90s. And first up is a newly discovered photo of Amelia Earhart that might answer the questions of what happened when her plane disappeared 80 years ago while attempting to fly around the world. This photo that surfaced shows what could be Earhart and her navigator Noonan on a dock while under Japanese custody in the Marshall Islands. And also in the picture is a boat towing what appears to be the remains of her airplane. Over the years, there's been much speculation as to what happened to Earhart, but corroborating reports of Earhart's first being rescued, captured, and dying at the hands of the Japanese for spying are not seeming so far-fetched anymore. There's a special about Earhart on what's been found that airs July 9th on the History Channel, so it may be worth watching, and I'm going to continue to follow this story for any updates, and we'll link to the reports on the photo down below for anyone who might be interested. And next up, we found a viral video released by Sony's YouTube channel just days ago on World UFO Day that suggests that we may be getting a re-release of Close Encounters of the Third Kind in all of its 1977 glory. Now that was really close. Uh, Aries 31, do you wish to file a report of any kind of it? I wouldn't know what kind of report to file, sir. Close Encounters was originally released November 16th, 1977, just months after Star Wars was. So this November would mark its 40th anniversary, and it's certainly possible that they plan to re-release the original to be back in theaters for the celebration. No details yet, as Sony seems to be keeping info on why the hell they put out this video of mystery. But I hope they do re-release it, because I would love to relive this classic movie in theaters. Also in TV news, looks like FX is producing a new show called Snowfall that's about an 80s crack epidemic. This one looks pretty interesting, if only to see how well FX replicates that old 80s vibe. And on to retro tech. If you're one of those that use Facebook and hate seeing ads you don't care about, well there's an app for the Chrome browser that will change all of Facebook's ads into retro 80s ads so i think that's pretty cool it's called social ads vintage edition and you can get it for the ios or for android i actually gave it a try and i kept hitting the refresh over and over to see all the cool ads that were replaced and it seems to work pretty well do understand though that these ads are for things that no longer exist so if you do want real ads on facebook you'll need to eventually uninstall the chrome app but it's pretty cool seeing ads for stuff like the old NES console, Atari, and Airwalk shoes from the 80s. And I'll be sure to post that one down below for those that want to try it out. And for those that don't know, Spam just hit its 80th birthday anniversary. And although I can't stand the taste of it, my mom made me eat it as a kid. And I did spend a couple years in Hawaii uh, where they really ate it like candy. But um, anyway, Spam, for you loving types, Hormel put out a retro recipe list. And I'm going to link to that just for you guys. So, bon appetit. And last thing today. Ah, oh, man. Being a huge Spider-Man fan and loving its creator, Stan Lee... I just wanted to highlight something important to me, and I hope it's important to you guys as well. Um, Stan lost his wife, Joan Lee, this week after 67 years of marriage, and I just want to post a few links down below for you guys to check out so you can see what a wonderful woman that she was to him. Um, I lost my mom and dad this time last year, and it's been really tough getting through it, so... I can only imagine how devastating it must be to lose someone that you spent practically your entire life with. So, uh, Stan, take care, man, and we're thinking about you. And I think that's all we got for you this time on Retro News. And I just hope that uh, you guys enjoyed the show. So, Retroheads, 
I got a question for you. Do you think Sony is going to be remaking Close Encounters or just releasing it? So let me know what you think down below. And if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And keep it retro. And thanks for watching.